Returning to the office after a long period away can trigger unexpected stress and anxiety. And while remote work during the pandemic had its own challenges, now that people are back to the office in some capacity, are finding it more stressful and anxiety triggering than they had anticipated. According to a study by McKinsey, one in three employees say that returning to work has had a negative impact on their mental health, making them anxious and depressed. That's why it is important for you as a leader to ensure that you handle the return to the office in the best way possible. As a leader, you must be flexible and make the office a place people want to come to. Hi there, my name is Eric Vermeulen and for over 20 years I've helped companies large and small navigate and understand the behaviours required to move their businesses into the future. Our behavioural insights has helped companies not only engage their employees but also extend their offering to their customers by having a clear understanding of the behavioural strategies they can employ to market their businesses better whilst building their brands from the inside out. For example, here is what we did with BestMed. Using our engagement process, we helped staff co-create a behavioural culture that would support their new brand values after a brand refresh. This resulted in the Paysetter program and culminated not only in a very successful rollout, but also in an innovative employee recognition program. Within two years, they beat South Africa's largest medical insurers by being named Best Medical Scheme by the Financial Intermediaries Association. But it's not only Best Med. What about FBN Capital or First Bank Nigeria Quest? We created an aspirational communications campaign aligned with their financial goals to engage staff in their new brand. Through a co-creative process, we distilled the inherent strengths of both brands in this merger to their core and translated those into one new culture. Using cognitive dissonance, we got the teams to think beyond the obvious in creating their new culture. This resulted in a multi-channel communication strategy that produced employee-centered content and collateral for future communications programs. Look, the list goes on and on, and uh, these are some of the other companies that we've worked with over the last few years. Ridgeline Consulting has a rich heritage of over 20 years of helping companies navigate and understand the behavioral changes required to move their businesses into the future. Our behavioural insights help companies not only engage their employees more appropriately, but also allows them the ability to use behavioural economics principles to better engage their customers. But it's not just our 20 years of business insights that give us the edge to help your business be better. It's the way we combine that with over 25 years of adventure experience. The combination of our unique business insights and the experience we have leading expeditions to some of the highest mountains on the planet, the hottest deserts and the coldest arctic tundras, allow us to give your business the edge by looking at the mind hacks that we use to create performance in the adventure world and to bring those into your business, creating performance hacks right where you need it the most. In fact, the name Ridgeline refers to that part of the mountain that gives you relatively the easiest access to the summit, but also, once you get onto that Ridgeline, allows you the luxury of looking back to see where you've come from. And that is exactly what we do for your business. We show you where you've been and the behaviors required to allow you to achieve your business goals. We've worked with companies large and small in South Africa, across Africa and globally. Helping them solve behavioural problems as a result of mergers and acquisitions, as a result of brand changes and helping them motivate their staff into the future. This has included behavioural culture assessments and development. It's included keynote presentations and staff training in helping their salespeople and managers better understand the behaviours of the people they lead and the customers that they serve. So if you're looking for innovative and effective ways to not only engage your employees and your customers, 
but to build your business culture from the inside out in order to be more effective in the future world of work, you need to give me a call in the next couple of days. I've got a few slots open, so book that call and let's see how we can help you build the culture that supports your brand.